Hello and welcome to Coding Code Blocks channel. In this video, I'll show you how to set up WX widget library in Code Blocks ID on Windows machine. Uh, at first, open WX widget uh, official website. Uh, under download page, uh, you can download either source code or binary files. And if you download source code, then you have to uh, you have to compile by yourself, which is a little bit uh, complex and longer process. So I will show you how to set up library files using uh, pre-compiled binary files and editor. Okay, so please click uh, download Windows binaries button here under binary section. And in this window, uh, select uh, option as per your compiler. And currently I'm using 64 bit uh, Windows uh, machine and 64 bit code blocks ID and 64 bit MinGW 8.1 uh, compiler. And if you are not sure which version you are using, then you can check uh, in code blocks under help and about section. Okay, from here, and you can see my compiler version is 8.1, 64 bit. But I suggest you to use uh, always the latest version of code blocks if you are using older version. Okay, so let me download header files and download development files. And for my machine, uh, I should download 64 bit because I'm using 64 bit. If you are using 32 bit, then please download uh, development files from 32 bit option. Okay. Click close. So now download completed. So these are our downloaded files. And to extract these uh, downloaded files, we need 7-zip. I hope you have that. Okay, and let me extract this file. Okay, these are our files and let me create separate directory to store our uh, library files in single uh, directory. Okay, let me split this one and control and okay, create new folder under C drive and rename that folder with WX, WID, widgets. You can create this folder anywhere. It doesn't matter where, but I'm, cre I'm creating it under C drive because it will be easy for me, okay? So you can create anywhere you like and you can give name anywhere. But remember, uh, these are this folder is, uh, is the location for our WX widget library files, okay? So open this folder, newly created folder and copy header file, uh, include folder inside this folder, copy and paste. Now copy pre-compiled binary development files, this leaf folder, copy and paste here. Okay, uh, now we are ready to create uh, a WX project in code blocks. Okay, so let me create new project. Select empty project. Give any name. W, WX, WID, GDZ, setup. Next, finish. Now add because project is empty. So let me add main CPP file, uh, add files and okay, cancel file, new files, CPP source, go CPP version and main dot main dot CPP, save and select both debug and release option. Okay, here debug and release option. Otherwise, uh, our compiler will not consider this main.cpp file while compiling project. 
so select both option finish and let me grab hello world code from wx widget official website from here go to hello world in wx widget option here under quick link section and copy code this code okay and now now select project from workspace and right click and go to properties and select project build option and under search directory go to compiler tab and make sure that in left side panel you are selecting wx widget set, setup option okay this uh, like you have to select the project name here in left side panel and under source directory go to compiler tab and here you should pro provide the path of our library in code folder okay so go to i will go to my library folder in code and remember that uh, last time i created new folder wx widget and i copied in code folder here so same thing you have to do uh, give a path of include folder select and keep this as relative path um, i don't know what it does but i always select no okay i suggest you to do same and under linker go to linker tab and provide path of library files pre-compiled pre library files go to go to same library directory wx widget and open leaf folder and give path of this folder okay gcc 810 underscore x64 underscore dll and if you are using 32 bit then the name of this folder might be different um, it, it might be gcc underscore dll only but i am using 64 bit so the name of this folder is this select this folder i keep this as a relative path no okay now go to debug option okay in left side panel uh, select debug debug option and go to source directory under compiler click add and give a path of uh, c wx wz lib gcc select this msw ud folder Remember, UD is for debug and U is only for release, okay? So right now we are uh, setting up for debug option. So select this MSW UD option. Select, keep relative path, no, okay. And under linker setting, select two linker, one WX, uh, W, wx msw 31 ud underscore core wx msw 31 ud underscore core and add another linker wx base 31 ud okay and now go to release option in left side panel select release and under source directory go to compiler tab and click add button and give a path of that <clears throat> our library folder wxz lib gcc select msu folder msw folder select keep uh, no always no okay and go to linker setting and here give a same linker name but without d wx msw wx msw 31 u underscore core linker and add base linker wx base 31 u linker click ok so let me uh, recap again uh, in left side panel select project name here and under source directory you should uh, under source directory under compiler tab you should give a path of include folder of our library files and under linker we should give a path of lib gcc uh, underscore dll folder uh, 
of our library files and in a debug option in a compiler section, source directory compiler section, give a path of MSWUD folder. And in a linker setting, give a uh, linked library name of core and base. But for debug, uh, you should give a name with UD underscore core. Okay. And for, and then I now go to release section and here, a name of the linker will be u underscore core only. So for debug ud uh, release only u. And in source directory success under compiler, you should give a path of MSWU folder. Okay. So now you are, we are ready to compile our project. Click OK. Okay. Let me save this file and build. See, a uh, program compiled successfully. Let me run this. So this is the sample hello program, which we compiled successfully. Uh, okay, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I hope this video helps you a lot.